morning. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality, health, and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That's why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a generating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, we are Good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side. I do not know what you guys heard. We had a little bit of technical difficulty, so we will just dispense with my usual introduction and get right into the program. This is The Bright Side. I am Pharmacist Ben, and our number today is 8, as always, 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. I apologize for our technical difficulties, but we are here and we are back. We're talking about NAC, N-acetylcysteine. I consider that to be, well, I... It is my all-time favorite non-essential nutrient, N-acetylcysteine NAC. You can, get it any, you can get it at any health food store. It's ridiculously cheap for all of the benefits that are associated with, with this remarkable amino acid derivative, NA refers to the fact that uh, it's got a little tiny piece of something that makes it uh, an acetyl group is what biochemists call it. The NA stands for N-acetyl. But basically, it's an amino acid called cysteine. It's found in high-protein foods, and it's remarkably, remarkably relevant for the detoxification system. It works directly on the immune system. It upregulates and enhances the production of our antibodies, our disease-fighting antibodies. And this, uh, has affected, this effect has been leveraged for treating immune deficiency diseases, AIDS in particular. Uh, NAC suppresses the growth of HIV virus. It supports the ability of the immune system to kill invaders. According to the website musclechemistry.com, a double-blind study at Stanford University of 45 people suggested that NAC may increase the levels of a particularly important immune cell called CD4 cells in healthy people. If you have HIV or you have any kind of immune deficiency problem, your CD4 levels tend to decline. Patients who were given and NAC for six weeks were roughly twice as likely, this is HIV patients, were likely twice as likely to survive for two years as subjects who did not take the uh, NAC. You guys at the studio, you got your mic on. Turn it off, please. I always use NAC in my anti-acne protocols. It's a key player in my truth blemish repair complex, which I formulated partially at least to support liver health and detoxification. The idea being that acne is very often associated, at least partially associated with liver toxicity. This is why my Truth Blemish Repair Complex, by the way, is much more than a blemish remedy, an anti-blemish remedy or anti-acne remedy. You can use my Truth Blemish Repair Complex for any kind of health issues that involve depletion of NAC or if you want to just simply increase your NAC. The Truth, Ble Truth Blemish Repair Complexes can be associated with improvements in eczema. It can reduce the, the incidences of hangovers if you're dealing with those, if you're drinking alcohol. And it, topically, NAC can also play a role in keeping keeping your skin healthy. It can mitigate the negative effects of something called benzoyl peroxide. Most folks who have acne blemishes know what I'm talking about. BPO, benzoyl peroxide, is the go-to over-the-counter topical treatment for acne. Nonetheless, it's not good stuff. It's not safe stuff. It's very toxic stuff. In fact, benzoyl peroxide may actually be one of the more toxic ingredients that you're going to find in your favorite local drugstore. BPO, benzoyl peroxide. 
is on the FDA's known to cause cancer list. It's actually been used to induce cancers, the formation of cancers when they're trying to test chemotherapy drugs. They'll actually use benzoyl peroxide to induce cancers. In fairness, these are high concentrations of benzoyl peroxide. I'm not saying that the low concentrations that you get in health food stores or in drug stores can necessarily cause cancers. But nonetheless, do you really want any cancer-causing agent on your skin, especially if it's an FDA known cancer-causing ingredient, you're not going to get 50%. You're only going to get 5% benzoyl peroxide, maybe 10% benzoyl peroxide in, in uh, drug stores. But do you really want to put even that much on? It, benzoyl peroxide does kill bacteria. I, I, I recognize this. It does. Uh, it may cause some temporary improvements. That's why it's in proactive, and, and uh, that's why movie stars and celebrities tell you, oh, that proactive is wonderful stuff. It improved my acne. I don't have acne anymore. It does work in that way, at least short term. Acne, of course, is an internal condition, not a topical condition. It's an internal health challenge that shows up on the skin. That's the hardest thing for people to understand. And under, I can see why that is. You have a skin problem. It sure does look like it's a skin problem. But the fact of the matter is, is the skin is secondary to the blood. There's no skin problems, whether you're talking acne or whether you're talking eczema or whether you're talking psoriasis, that's not related to some kind of toxicity in the blood, with the rare exceptions of what are called contact dermatitis, contact issues, contact allerg uh, allergic reactions, which do occur occasionally. You can have to contact or topical skin issues associated to nickel or to latex or even to gluten. There's a condition called concrete dermatitis, which occurs uh, in response to certain compounds that are in concrete. Construction workers get that. I've, I have seen that personally with my own eyes, and I understand that this can occur. However, the fact remains, the vast majority of skin health issues are internal. They're not topical. If you're using benzoyl peroxide to treat your acne, even if you get benefits in the short term. You have done nothing to solve the problem. And this is why it's so important to address the internal milieu if you are dealing with any skin health issue, particularly acne. If you're going to use benzoyl peroxide, and again, you may get some benefits from it in the short term, if you are going to use benzoyl peroxide, it's probably a good idea to include some N-acetylcysteine internally, and even topically, because as it turns out, using topical N-acetylcysteine can help soften the blow, can help reduce some of the negative impact of, of, uh, of the topical application of benzoyl peroxide. I'll tell you about that when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back right after this. Okay, we are back on the bright side. Pharmacist Ben here, 844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. You could purchase Longevity products if you are so interested by checking out our website, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also call the phone team at 866-735-2470. You can purchase products right off the phone. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team if you want to start a Longevity business, if you're an entrepreneur, if you're an entrepreneurial warrior. If you like the entrepreneurial lifestyle, if you want to create a business model for yourself where you're your own boss, you work out of your home, and you earn as much or as little money as you'd like, the entrepreneur lifestyle is for you, and longevity is definitely something you want to check out for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a longevity business, and we can help you build it through this radio program, through my personal presentations, through three-way phone calls. I do those all the time. If you have a problem patient or somebody that you want to introduce the products to, you can have them listen to this radio program, or you can have them, uh, we can do three-way three -way phone calls for you as well all in the interest of building your business. That's the beauty of network marketing is everybody helps each other. I love that model. People above you want you to succeed. People below you need you to succeed. As you succeed, people succeed above you and below you, and that is exactly how business should be. If you are interested, if this sounds intriguing, please call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. Okay, so NAC for all kinds of things. It's a, uh, pretty much any health challenge you could deal with, particularly if it involves something long-term and chronic, particularly if it involves the skin, is going to benefit from NAC therapy. 
from the Journal of Ocular Pharmacological Therapy, NAC, and acetylcysteine was shown to uh, be effective and well tolerated in folks who have something called MGD. Bet you never heard of MGD. MGD uh, stands for Mybomian Gland Dysfunction. The Mybomian glands are these interesting little oil glands that live on the top of your eyes. If you ever had a sty or a little whitehead or a little bump in your eyelid, you were dealing with a mybomian gland dysfunction, a clog in these little oil glands. Very, it doesn't seem like it would be very, you know, these tiny little glands would be problematic, but man, if you ever had one of those things, it could be incredibly, incredibly irritating. These my, mybomian glands produce oils that basically like the oil glands in your skin. When they become clogged, you can get styes and it's really uncomfortable. According to this article in the Journal of Ocular Pharmacology, topically administering NAC, uh, patients who topically administered NAC showed statistically significant improvements in the condition and this was all uh, without any kind of toxicity or allergic reaction of course because NAC is non-toxic and non-allergenic. Another article this from the Journal of Wound Care, successful treatment of non-healing pressure ulcers with topical N-acetylcysteine. N-acetylcysteine, according to this article, uh, N-acetylcysteine may be used in the treatment of pressure ulcers, non-healing pressure ulcers. That's because NAC stimulates healing. Before we went to break, we talked about using NAC topically. If you're dealing with, uh, if you're dealing with benzoyl peroxide irritation, if you're dealing with any irritation, if you're dealing with any broken skin, and that includes eczema, and that includes wounds, as well as pressure ulcers, NAC cream can be very, very valuable. You can buy NAC cream. Uh, you can get a, a compounding pharmacist to make NAC cream for you. There are NAC creams that are available. Make your own NAC cream. Just buy NAC. It's dirt cheap. Ten, you can buy a bottle of the stuff for 10 bucks. break open a capsule and put it in your favorite cream, rub it in real well or, or mix it up real well, and just apply it. You can also use it internally. Just taking NAC as a supplement can have multiple benefits for your skin if you're dealing with any kind of skin health issues, and that includes acne, and that is why I use NAC in my Truth Blemish Repair Complex. You could find out, you could find our Truth Blemish Repair Complex at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com, in addition to all our other Truth Skin Health products. NAC also plays a role, interestingly, in mental health issues. According to a 2015 article published in the Journal of Neuroscience and Biobehavioral Reviews, there is, quote, favorable evidence supporting NAC's utility in certain psychiatric and neurological disorders. Remember, we, we started this whole conversation about NAC and detoxification when it came to, uh, as far as excitotoxicity, and indeed, NAC can help you if you're dealing with any kind of brain health challenge. And this may be especially uh, relevant for folks who are dealing with bipolar disorders. According to investigators from the Arkansas Children's Hospital, NAC's benefits range from nail biting, uh, from, from helping patients deal with nail biting, OCD, schizophrenia, cannabis addiction, depression, drug-induced neuropathy, and bipolar disorder. Perhaps the most standout, I mean, this is a lot of stuff. This is a lot of benefits for a $10 a bottle supplement that'll cost you pennies a day to use and it's completely non-toxic. This is why I love supplementation. Using these supplements is multifunctional. Using drugs is multi-side effect. You don't get any side effects from nutritional supplementation. You get beneficial effects. Of course, in my opinion, probably the most standout element of NAC's multiple benefits is its role as a raw material for what has been called the body's master detoxification substance, that is glutathione. I love glutathione. You know, we, I talk about glutathione all the time. But if you haven't heard me talk about glutathione, let me give you a couple of the highlights. Glutathione is the most powerful guardian and detoxification molecule in the body, bar none. It provides protection from lead, from heavy metals, from cancer-causing compounds in the air, cancer-causing compounds in our homes. And make no mistake about it, there is a phenomenon known as sick building syndrome, which is uh, linked to toxins and emanations from the carpet and from paint and from printer cartridges. Read Sherry Rogers' Detox or Die, which is a classic in a classic book that talks about sick building syndrome. Glutathione is protective against all of these emanations. And most especially, glutathione is protective against drugs. In fact, the more drugs you're on, the more glutathione your body is burning through. 
Glutathione prote uh, provides protective support from pesticides, from glyphosate, from Roundup. It's important for DNA synthesis and repair. It's important for making proteins and anti-inflammatory molecules that support the immune system. It's important for transporting and activating uh, various amino acids that are involved in detoxification. It plays a key role in iron metabolism. This is all glutathione, and NAC is a raw material for glutathione. That means supplementing with NAC is going to get you all of these benefits and anti-cancer benefits as well. In fact, it's not a stretch to say, in my humble opinion, that pretty much all health parameters and pretty much all bodily symptoms will benefit from anything that you could do to support glutathione and conversely will suffer from glutathione depletion and anything that burdens the glut glutathione processing system. Most especially anything that burdens the immune system, most especially anything that burdens the nervous system or the brain, anything that burdens the digestive system, anything that burdens the lungs because this and the respiratory system in general because this is where glutathione really plays a superstar role. Glutathione is our biochemical guardian angel. It's our master protecting molecule, and it kicks into action whenever the body perceives that it is under attack. The more pollutants we're exposed to, the more important glutathione becomes. We live in a toxic world, and that makes glutathione super duper important. And the more we're exposed to toxins, the more we need glutathione. The more pot we smoke, the more sleeping pills we use, or allergy medicine we take, or any drugs we use, legal or illegal drugs, the more relevant glutathione becomes and the more important glutathione depletion becomes and this is so important when it comes to diseases because if our strategies for healing ourselves deplete our bodies of this biochemical angel the more susceptible we're going to be to further diseases and this is a sneaky trick of the of the entrenched medical model I'll, I'll tell you what I mean when we come back from our break I'm pharmacist Ben you're listening to the bright side as your Okay, we are back on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. And we'll get your calls here in just a moment. I'll try to get to uh, as many calls as we can. Hang on. I, I want to tell you a couple, I want to talk about a couple stories here that I think are interesting, and then we'll get your calls at 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, you can head to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. And if you'd like to check out our Truth Skin Health products, you can go to truthtreatments.com, truth truthtreatments.com, including our Truth Blemish Repair Complex, by the way, at truthtreatments.com. Okay, let's see here. I'm going to do just a couple quick stories that I think are interesting, and then we'll get your, get your calls. This is from the journal Obesity Reviews, Food Cravings Down with Extended Calorie Restriction. You eat less calories, you want less calories. I love that. Eating calories becomes addictive, and the more you do it, the more you want it. Simply by restricting your calories, you can actually reduce food cravings. You can reduce the drive to eat by eating less food. And this is a very important health strategy. In fact, it may be the single most important health strategy. Everything we eat, whether it's a great food, even if it's salad. People think that you, know, you just eat vegetables and all is good. It doesn't work that way. Veggies have lectins in them. Lectins can amplify and jack up the immune system like sugar can. They're not as bad as, uh, I'm not saying veggies are as bad as sugar, but you got to be careful with all foods. After we eat a meal, our inflammatory system, our immune system goes into red alert. It's called postprandial inflammation. Prandial meaning eating, post-eating inflammation. That's, this is why study after study after study talks about calorie restriction as a major longevity-inducing anti-aging strategy. Basically, the decision is, do we want to eat or do we want to, do we want to eat a lot or do we want to live a long time? We got to eat, of course. Nobody's saying not to eat at all. But the less we eat, the longer we live. This has been shown definitively in study after anti-aging study after anti-aging study. And then, of course, you have your whole, the whole concept of uh, uh, improving insulin sensitivity. The less calories you eat, the more sensitized your insulin is. These are the little things we can do to stay healthy. This is what the bright side is all about. The little things, the easy things, the breathing, the calorie restriction, the nutritional supplementation, the psychological and emotional and mental and spiritual strategies that we can use to liberate us from a medical model that doesn't care about us or our family or our loved ones. The medical model doesn't care. The medical model is there to perpetuate itself. And all of this hullabaloo and hand-wringing about Obamacare and the Affordable Care Act that you hear on the news coming out of Washington, it's not for us. 
It's to entrench the medical model. It's to, uh, to create profit centers for hospitals and for insurance companies and for drug companies. It's to, uh, to uh, exchange the money or transfer the money or transfer the wealth from us to them. It is always the institution against the individual. And this is why utilizing and leveraging these kinds of strategies, which we can employ from the comfort of our own living room, from the comfort of our own kitchen, becomes so, so important when it comes to our health. We're going to continue talking about things that we can do to reduce or to improve glutathione levels, to reduce the impact of, of bad living on glutathione tomorrow as we continue talking about N-acetylcysteine, glutathione, and excitotoxicities. And I have not forgotten about green tea because we've got, still got more to talk about uh, when it comes to this very important uh, pro-health beverage. All right. 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's hit the phones and go to Sharita in Tennessee. Good morning, Sharita. Welcome to the Bright Side. Hey, how are you doing? Doing good. What's going on? Well, I had a blood test run, okay. me, and mm -hmm. it came back that it's supposed to my hematocrit was really low. Okay. She said it was in the 20s. Okay. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? You're fatigued? You're tired? You're getting sick? Gaining weight? Yes. Okay. And head is just constantly hurting. And okay. she recommended I was supposed to get like an iron transfusion. Well, she's a doctor, so that's, <laughs> that's what doctors do. You know, do you ever hear the story of the scorpion and the frog? No, I haven't. Well, I don't, I don't know. I got a bunch of calls here I want to get to, so I'm not going to tell you the whole story. But at the end of the story, they go, the scorpion goes, I'm a scorpion. That's what I do. <laughs> I'm a doctor. That's what I do. You know, I don't blame them. This is what they do. I don't blame the scorpion. Don't blame the doctor. They, they want to do an iron transfusion. All right, here's the deal. The hematocrit blood test determines, it's an indicator of how uh, the percentage of red blood cells that you got. Your, your red blood cells are your energy cells. When you have a low hematocrit, you got low red blood cells, you got a, a deficiency in red blood cells, and that's going to make you feel like crap. Now, there's lots of reasons why this can occur, but primarily it's going to involve your liver. It should be no surprise that, you know, considering that the liver is involved in lots of things and liver, liver issues affect over 100 million Americans. They say 100 million Americans. There's probably over 100 million Americans. The liver is a multifunctional organ. It does all kinds of things, 500 different functions, uh, 500 different chemical reactions occur in the liver. It's involved in sugar metabolism, processing our foods, fat metabolism, protein metabolism. It stores all of these nutrients. It's making glutathione, detoxifying things. So, so the liver is going to be burden, uh, liver functions, the th things that the liver does, are, including uh, processing red blood cells, they are going to be involved in, uh, uh, in lots of different things. So what you want to do is you want to focus on liver health. That's the first thing to think about. How do you focus on liver health? Foods. Foods, 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 foods. You got to have some kind of food problem, either relating to food uh, digestive intolerances or, or food intolerances or diabetes or blood sugar issues. Those are the two major reasons why our liver gets messed up, problems with food and problems with uh, blood sugar. Now, if you're doing drugs or prescription drugs or drinking a lot of alcohol, that can add to it. I'm going to assume that's not the case. So focus on foods and focus on blood sugar. It's not an iron issue. They want to give you iron. That's the strategy strategy is to give you more iron, but you don't have an iron problem. You got a blood cell problem. So the, the idea of giving you iron is to improve, uh, improve the health of the blood cells, but you're not making them correctly. So iron isn't going to make a difference. And, and then iron has its own problems. Uh, iron is a so, excessive amounts of iron are associated with the health challenges. Work on your liver. That's the bottom line here. Do you have diabetes or blood sugar issues, by the way? She never said anything about it. Right, have any, have you... Blood test? Have you been gaining weight or you notice that you're gaining weight where you were a thin teenager and now you're not a thin adult any longer? Um, to be honest with you, it's just been a weight issue all my life. Like overweight issue or underweight issue? Yeah. Over. Uh, overweight. Uh, yes. that, overweight. Th that's, then you got a blood sugar problem. Okay, you can assume okay. if you got a weight issue, you got a blood sugar problem. Estrogen is the hormone. Estrogen is probably involved too, but both of those are liver issues. Do you see what I'm saying here? So if yeah. you got issues that show, if you got health challenges that uh, can be linked to the liver, work on the liver. 
It's pretty much that easy. Uh, now, the liver, as I say, is a digestive organ, so you want to first and foremost look for food intolerances, food problems, uh, pro uh, constipation, bloating, gas, heartburn, any, anything that's a digestive health issue, link it to food, and then eliminate, eliminate those foods. That's called the elimination diet. I know if you've listened to this program, I talk about it every day, so I don't want to, I don't want to bore you, but just focus on foods that cause problems and eliminate them. It helps to do a fast first, as you know, probably. A Swero-V cleanse is probably a good idea too. There's an important relationship between the intestine and the liver, so make sure you're using fermented foods and fiber, both. You should be doing okay. making grinding up flax seeds every day and uh, um, doing a little fiber beverage. I put turmeric in my fiber beverage. With I make a flaxseed beverage with turmeric, and I use cinnamon and clove to make it tasty. You could put a little bit of honey in there, but not too much because you don't want to get too go, go, go too crazy on the sweets. Then you got to hold the whole uh, idea of sugar metabolism. We got to take a break. We'll finish that up when we come back. Don't go away, Sharita. And if you're on hold, we will get to you as well. Eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number. I'm pharmacist Ben. And we'll be back on the bright side right after this. Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're talking to Sharita in Tennessee. Are you there, Sharita? Sharita yes, in Tennessee. Yeah. Love that name, Sharita. Yeah. What a pretty name. All right. So here's the deal. Uh, if, you have a, if you have a low hematocrit, that's a sign that you're not making blood cells or, or maybe you're, they're breaking down too quickly. It's a, a red blood cell deficiency issue. Doctors always go to iron. That's the first thing they think about. And iron deficiency can be a problem, but iron's processed in the liver. So usually if it's an iron problem, especially considering the fact that so many people have liver issues and the liver does so many things and it's one of the first organs that, that start to break down anyway, based on our crappy lifestyle, the food we eat and the toxicity we're exposed to, focus on the liver first. Kidney may be involved, and yes, nutritional deficiencies may be involved, toxicity may be involved, but focusing on the liver is always the best strategy because most of us have liver pro are going to have liver problems, and especially, Sharita, if you have weight problems, and especially if you have a history of them, and I'm guessing you probably have menstrual problems as well, or you ha at least ha have a history somewhere of menstrual issues, PMS or okay. bloat. Or, or weird things like that. Is that is that is that correct? Uh, this, this is all indicators. This is all. It's not. See, the body breaks down generically, Sharita. It's not like we have our own. Per, it seems personal to us, but when you see these problems over and over and over again, you see that there's a generic nature to our diseases, which is great news because it means there's a generic nature to the to the uh, remedy. Focus on the liver, and the liver is being primarily a digestive organ. It also involves sugar metabolism. So those are two major areas that you want to focus on. You use nutrients to help the body process sugar. You want to go on a sugar uh, as best as you can, or a low sugar type diet, like a diabetic diet. Even if you haven't been diagnosed as a diabetic, use your sweeties. Make sure you're getting enough fiber. I said before, before I went to break, I told you about a fiber beverage. That'll help you with your regularity. It'll also help you with your bones because fiber help clear out excess estrogen, which can tox out the liver. Use, uh, you might want to consider using progesterone cream, which can help balance out excess estrogen. That will also help you with your, with your menstrual health issues. And then get yourself on a supplement program if you're not already, featuring protein. I like whey protein. If you can't do whey, egg protein or, or uh, hemp seed protein or just high protein foods if you don't want to use protein powders, which I do like. Make sure you're on the Healthy Star Pack using all of your Mighty 90 essential nutrients, especially the B complex, which is critically important for helping with blood cells. Vitamin B12, vitamin B6, and folic acid are all super duper important for the production of blood cells. I'd be using the Beyond Tangy Tangerine straight through the day, sipping on it all day long. You might want to throw in the Fucoid Z, which is a general blood purifier, as well as the Ultimate Selenium and the Ultimate Nightly Essence to make sure that you've got those good bacteria in the gut along with the fiber. That's all going to support liver health. All right, I got to motivate Sharita, but focus on your liver. That's the that's the moral of the story here. Anything you could do to focus on liver health. All right. Hope hope I helped you out. Thanks for your call. Appreciate it. Thank you. And uh, good Bye. luck with everything. All right, let's go to uh, let's see here. Let's go to John in Maryland. Good morning, John. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing all right, Ben. What's going on? So connective tissue issues. Um, I have uh, been doing. Hey, John, uh, John, can you get me off speaker? I'm having a hard time hearing you. I think you're on speaker, and I'm, I'm not not hearing you. Uh, well. Yeah, I'm on my car speaker here. I'll I'll take out the, the Bluetooth. 
A little bit. Let's see what we can do. All right. So, um, anyway, I've, I've been having issues with my, um, with my bone and joints, specifically my elbow. I think at one point I tore my lateral ligament, uh, throwing baseballs, obviously, and never had Tommy John surgery to repair it. Uh, were you a, were you a professional player? Were you a professional ball player? No, no, I just play a lot just of baseball. Okay, yeah. all right. So, well, so anyway, um, I've had had a lot of um, a lot of problems with my elbow. And, all right, let's get let's get you, John. I'm having a hard time hearing you, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna let you go. Can you listen on the radio? You're just you're just cutting out a lot here, and it's hard to hear you. So I'm gonna let you go, but I'm gonna talk to you about connective tissue. Okay, buddy. I apologize for that. I've just got a bad connection. So listen in on the radio. Okay, John? All right. I'm going to let you go here, John. Yeah, for building connective tissue, if you're dealing with any kind of joint problems, the first ish, the first thing you want to do is make sure that you're reducing any burden on the joint. Any kind of inflammation on the joint is going to impair healing. So you got to reduce inflammation on the joint, and the best way to do that is to do stretching exercises, number one, and number two, to stay away from anything that inflames the joint via food. That means look for food. Again, same idea here, folks. Look for food problems. Look for any kind of uh, uh, digestive issues that are associated with foods, and then eliminate those foods. Digestive issues are your best friend if you have some kind of connective tissue problem because you can use those as a kind of pathway to the foods that you need to eliminate. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start to build the connective tissue using raw materials for connective tissue, uh, supplements that are raw materials, including glucosamine and cartilage-containing products. And don't forget your vitamin C. You cannot build connective tissue without it. It is the rate-limiting step, and vitamin C deficiencies are super common, shockingly common. That is enough vitamin C. Very few people have full-blown vitamin C deficiency. Nobody gets full-blown scurvy, but subclinical deficiencies that aren't aren't quite bad enough for you to notice that you're deficient, but are bad enough for you to have some kind of health challenge like de a degradation of your connective tissue or some kind of joint problems or arthritis or something along those lines. So making sure you're getting enough vitamin C. Of course, I love the, health, the uh, Beyond Tangy Tangerine for vitamin C. Essential fatty acids are also important for several reasons. They trigger the production of tissue, including connective tissue, and they also are anti-inflammatory, especially your omega-3 fatty acids, which are very uh, somewhat hard to come by unless you're supplementing. If you want foods, if you want to go the food route for omega-3s, fish is probably your best source. Fish oil is a good source of omega-3s. If you want uh, a, non, a vegan sources of omega-3s, you get some in flax seeds. Uh, that's, uh, chia seeds will get you some as well. Seeds are going to be a good source of omega-3s for vegans and vegetarians. But fish is still the best way. And supplementing with omega-3s is always a good idea. Vitamin E is wonderful for inflammation, by the way, uh, using vitamin E supplements. Vitamin E is another one of those cheapo supplements that you can get pretty much anywhere. I like the mixed tocopherols and mixed tocotrienols. And the more essential fatty acids you use, the more vitamin E you need. In fact, the more fats you're taking in, the more vitamin E you need because vitamin E protects fats. In addition to protecting the, uh, the fatty layer around cells, and this is why it's so important as an anti-inflammatory, vitamin E also protects us from uh, uh, the fats that we ingest. So more fats you're taking, and that includes supplemental, supplemental fats, the more vitamin E you need. I like magnesium for the joints as well. Magnesium has anti-inflammatory properties, so make sure you're using your magnesium, and don't forget your bones soup, lots of bone soup, which is essentially, if you do it right anyway, bone soup is liquid cartilage, easy to digest co collagen and other cartilage factors. Last but not least, don't forget your hyaluronic acid supplements. I'd be using 100 to 200 milligrams a day. They'll also help you with your skin if you're dealing with wrinkles. Hyaluronic acid builds all connective tissue. Thanks for your call, John. Hope we helped you out. Let's go to Ernest in Texas. Good morning, Ernest. Welcome to the Bright Side. Ernest, 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 are you there? No, I don't know where Ernest went. We'll let Ernest go here and uh, take Mystery Caller here. Are you there, Mystery Caller? I don't see a name for Mystery Hello? Caller. Hello, this is the bright side. Were you calling for us here? No, I was trying to call Alex Jones, but okay, you got to call back, and uh, Alex is on after us. Let's take Carl, the Truth Raider. Carl, you get the last word here, buddy. You've got about a minute. All right, urgent question, very quickly. What is the key nutrient that I'm lacking that is causing Restless leg 
syndrome. Electrolytes and B vitamins. I hate to say the key nutrient because it's a lot of things, but the first thing you want to think about is electrolytes, uh, magnesium in particular, but also it could be involved potassium. Uh, the B vitamins are also important. So electrolytes and the B vitamins for le restless leg syndrome, take them before you go to bed. Uh, uh, when the muscle, when the muscles kind of relax, that's when you notice that you have this restless leg problem. Uh, so oh, yeah. take them, take them before bed. Take your uh, sip on your Beyond Tangy Tangerine. If you find that the Beyond Tangy Tangerine is a little bit energizing, and some people find that the Beyond Tangy Tangerine is energizing before bed, just do some electrolytes, maybe some vegetable juice before you go to bed, and then get yourself some B complex. Restless leg syndrome, and I, again, I hate to, I hate to isolate just one nutrient, Carl, but uh, that those, that would be the the nutrient. I will focus on is electrolytes, especially magnesium and potassium, and the B vitamins. And again, those those, those are in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. But if you want to uh, if you want to use some other sources, get vegetable juices. Also, the Osteomag is a great source of magnesium for restless leg syndrome. You're not going to get a lot of the other nutrients, but it's a great source of magnesium. And magnesium also has the added effect of helping relax you before you go to sleep. So uh, magnesium. Uh, I'm sorry, electrolytes and the B vitamins featuring magnesium and potassium, uh, Beyond Tangy Tangerine, or veggie juices and supplements would be the, would be my recommendations for you. Thanks for your call, Carl. Appreciate it, man. Have a great day. All right, that's all the time we have for today on The Bright Side. I would like to invite you to check out our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com and to check out all the longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com, or you can call the phone team at 866-735-2470. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening to The Bright Side, friends. Have yourselves a wonderful, awesome, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.